from News Channel 8. Your news at 5 starts now. First at 5, Illinois police say a suspect in a quadruple homicide traveled roughly 700 miles here to Oklahoma. After a camera spotted his vehicle on I-44 near the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Catoosa police tried pulling him over but say he didn't cooperate. News Channel's C.J. Macklin live tonight with what we're learning today. C.J. That pursuit ended with the suspect crashing into a barrier on I-44. Catoosa police found him dead inside that vehicle along with the woman in the passenger seat in critical condition. Police say Nathaniel Huey Jr. was suspected of murdering a family of four in Romeoville, Illinois on Sunday. Within hours of discovering the victims on September 17th, the Romeoville Police Department had developed a person of interest. That person of interest is 31-year-old Nathaniel Huey Jr. of Streamwood, Illinois. A woman in a relationship with Huey was also identified as a person of interest. Her family reported her missing on Tuesday. On Wednesday, a digital license plate reader in Catoosa flagged the suspect vehicle twice on I-44. The Catoosa, Oklahoma Police Department was alerted to the presence of the suspect vehicle in their jurisdiction. Acting on this alert, local authorities located the vehicle and attempted to conduct a traffic stop. The vehicle immediately attempted to elude the officers, resulting in a single car crash of the suspect vehicle, causing the vehicle to catch on fire. The driver, later identified as Huey, led Catoosa police on a pursuit before crashing into a concrete barrier. Then officers on the scene said they heard two gunshots. A female with a gunshot wound was located and removed from the passenger side of the vehicle and is listed in critical condition. A male, also with a gunshot wound, was located deceased in the driver's seat of the vehicle. That woman has now been pronounced dead following her injuries from the crash. The Romeoville Police Department says their evidence between the suspect and the victim shows that Huey had possible motive. Officials have not publicly identified the woman at this time. Live in Katusa, I'm C.J. Macklin, News Channel 8.